Welcome to our video on advanced techniques for improving your eBay auctions. In this video, we'll look at adding audio to your auctions. In this video, I'm going to be talking you through how you can add audio to your eBay listings. You may find that this can significantly increase the response to your auctions. I have an example here of an auction I came across. If we scroll down, and actually you can't hear it now, but when you visit this auction, or when you visit auctions that have audio in them, often the audio plays automatically. And on the downside of that, it can be a little bit annoying for the person visiting if suddenly a voice starts blaring out of their speakers. But on the other hand, if it doesn't play automatically, the chances are great that the person visiting won't ever play the audio. So there's a very real benefit there. So, I would say keep in mind that you want the audio to play automatically, but carefully, perhaps with the audio not being too loud, for example, or perhaps audio with a pleasant music lead-in. Okay, however, the audio can be stopped fairly easily just by pressing this Stop button. This is done through Flash, and Flash is a technology that allows you to embed audio, video, and animations into web pages. What you do is that you take an audio file, like an MP3 file, and I would say that most people are familiar with MP3 files now because you can go to iTunes, for example, and download music in MP3 format. So, MP3 is a format of audio and audio files. They're suitable for the Internet because they're quite high quality and yet also quite quick to download. So, with Flash, you can take an MP3 and convert it into these little buttons and add them to a web page so people can either play them or stop them. Or you can even add additional options such as fast forward and so on. So first of all, let me talk you through the options for this. Actually, it's a bit of a side note, but just before I move off this, in previous videos I have touched on how to get traffic to your About Me page through your auctions and then how to benefit from that traffic. And here's actually an example of an auction that does that very well. You see, eye-catching handwritten text in red, prompting a benefit. If they go to the About Me page, a free mini course. And when you go to the About Me page, you see another more eye-catching bit of handwritten text and an email opt-in to get their name and email address to follow up with them. So, that's a very good example you may want to pay attention to for getting auction visitors to your About Me page and benefiting from them long term. Okay, so this video is going to be a quick introduction, first of all, about your options, and further videos will detail exactly how you get up and running. Okay, so you basically have the option of creating the Flash and hosting it yourself, or you can use a service that does it all for you. Okay, I've gone to Google, and if we do a search for Streaming Flash Audio, we'll start finding some options for adding Flash to websites. And when I say websites, of course, you can then add it to your auctions as well. And now I've also done a quick search for Streaming Flash Audio Service, and you may also wish to search for Streaming Flash Audio Software. Okay, there are more results there, and you can do your own searches and come up with lots of examples. However, I'm going to talk you through some examples that are entirely free at this time. Now, it's worth noting that some of these services are quite easy to use. For example, with some of the services, all you need to do to record a message is call a special number they give you and speak your message and it gets recorded automatically. And then they just give you a little bit of code to add to your auction or your website and the message you just recorded automatically plays within your website. So obviously it's very easy to use and that's a nice service. However, these services generally have a monthly fee attached of twenty, thirty dollars or maybe more. So that may be one way to go, and there are plenty of similar options available online. However, as mentioned, I'm going to go into free options that are a bit more involved, but they are entirely free. 
And once you're set up with them, for example, once you've done it once, you'll find it a lot easier to create even more messages, and perhaps you'll feel that one message is fine for all your auctions. Okay, so just to quickly introduce you to what I'll be talking through, I came across the following resource, which is, again, entirely free. And that's the website address, a hyphen between each word, website promotion by design, website audio player free.html. So there's a free player there that I'll talk you through. Hopefully, this site and this address will stay online for a good while, so you can also try out this player as well by the time you view this audio. Another one, and I've gone to the home page here, and it's not the easiest home page to remember, but if you just type that out, this web page actually gives away free software, which is incredibly valuable, and I've actually seen their software on many sites, including some incredibly high-profile sites. So it's very much proven and has a very wide reach, so people really use this a lot. So this is another option. Okay, free download and support. And it says, most of you will visit this site looking for my media player. And the media player is for... You can see a little example here. And there we go. For playing and managing multiple pieces of audio in one interface. Let's go back and the FLV player. And FLV is a format of Flash, which basically is the video format for online, the Internet. And let's see if there's an example. And yes, here we go, the examples at the top. And after you've seen this, you may start recognizing this player on more and more sites, because an awful lot of sites use it. For example, it has the nice feature of click this, and it goes to full screen. Press escape, and we're back, and so on. I'm not going to talk you through that, but it's another great tool that you may want to look into. Okay, let's go back, and what we're going to pay attention to is the MP3 player. And an MP3 player is just for playing one single piece of audio. And actually, interestingly, there's an example of a jukebox here, rather. So it's similar to the other audio player I just showed you. But what I really wanted to demonstrate was this one. This player would work very well for adding to auctions, and it has a lot of flexibility. As mentioned, it can be a little bit involved getting it set up, but I'll talk you through all of that in the coming videos. So you may want to start adding audio to your eBay auctions. If you're prepared to spend the time getting set up with it and getting familiar with the technology, and I certainly suggest that you do so because you may find the response to your auctions a lot higher, then this has just been a quick introduction to how you can do that, and in coming videos I'll walk you through step-by-step step how you can do so for free.